Hi friends, it's Laurie here from Lemon Yoga and welcome back to another video with me. Today I'm taking you through a daily stretch routine. These will be seven daily stretches that you should be doing every single morning. So join me for this gentle morning yoga flow. Come down onto your mat and find a child's pose to begin. We'll start by tuning into the breath, just noticing where the breath is sitting in the body and trying to deepen each inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And from there, we'll come into our first stretch that you should be doing every day, downward facing dog. We're lifting the hips high to the sky, lengthening the spine, lengthening through the backs of the legs and maybe even pedaling through the feet here to find even more length, even more warmth. You could even try shaking out through your head here to release through the back of the neck. And just taking a few deep breaths as you do that, giving the body time here to really open. Maybe try bending the knees now and then pressing the heels back to the ground. Bending the knees and pressing heels back to the ground and just moving through a few like that until you feel the body opening up. Stay with the breath and then try lifting your left leg to the ceiling into a three-legged dog before stepping that foot through, popping your right knee down and coming into our second stretch you should be doing every morning, crescent lunge. Lift the heart space, eyes could look up towards the horizon here. Think about channeling that energy all the way up through the fingertips. On your next exhale, release your right hand to the ground, reach the left arm high. Our third stretch is a twisted lunge. So this is great for the hips and the spine. Breathe deeply here. Try looking up towards that top hand if you can. Stay with the breath. Nice deep breaths in and out. Exhale to release, hand to the mat, pop your right foot to the ground and let's find our pyramid pose here, our fourth stretch of the morning. You could lean up on a block here finding a flat back, brace through your core here, think about drawing the navel in towards the spine and breathe some space all the way through the back of your left leg. Take deep breaths in and out. Just breathing all that lovely space into the back of the leg and through the spine. And then we'll start to fold the body forward, staying in a pyramid pose, shaking out through the head here. You should find a little bit of length in the back of the neck as you shake the head. Keep breathing into the back of the leg. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Let's start to open into our fifth stretch triangle pose, lengthening through the left leg and the right leg, lengthening through both sides of the body here. The right arm is reaching high. The left hand could be down on a block or it could be leaning on your front leg. Try and stack the shoulders here, one on top of the other. Turn the head and look towards the sky. Keep breathing. This is so great for strengthening through the body and also stretching through the whole entire body. Perfect pose to do in the morning. We'll release now, bend into that front knee, the left knee, come on down and we'll step back into our downward facing dog. Having a little pedal before we repeat those poses on the other side. Make sure you're connected to the breath here. 
press both heels to the ground, find that length and reach your right leg high into three-legged dog. Hold it there, find that length in the back of the body and then bring that right foot all the way through, land down, left knee to the ground. We're rising on up into our crescent lunge. Melting into the hips, lifting the heart space, channeling the energy up to the fingers. Taking nice deep breaths in and out as we gently open into the hips here. Stay with your breath and release your left hand to the ground. Sweep the right arm up high, eyes can look up. Keep hugging that right knee in towards the midline of the body to increase the twist here. And make sure that front foot is flat to the ground. Start to reach that right arm all the way down to the ground now. Untuck the left toes and place your heel to the mat. Into our pyramid pose, lengthening through the back of both legs, lengthen through your spine here. Either lean on your block or lean on the leg or have the hands connected to the hips. Brace through your core. And then just tune into the breath. The breath will really help us to open up and to relax into these stretches. Just inhaling and exhaling. Let's release the torso down now. Relax all the way through the crown of the head. Give the head a little shake here. You should find some release through the neck as you do that. Breathing in and out. Letting the upper body become heavier and heavier. And now we're feeling nice and relaxed in the stretch. We can begin to open into our triangle pose, Trikonasana. Lengthen through both legs, lengthen through the sides of the body. The right hand is down, the left arm is reaching and sweeping high. The eyes could look up. Try stacking those shoulders, keep finding that length through both sides of the rib cage, and breathe. If you don't have a block to hand, just lean on the leg instead. Nice deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Release your left hand down to the ground. We're going to make our way all the way to the mat now to find our sixth stretch of the morning. It's Badokanasana, our cobbler's pose. The soles of the feet meet, the knees are nice and wide, our sit bones are melting to the ground. Start by lifting and lengthening through the spine. The crown of the head grows towards the ceiling. Let the knees fall to wherever they naturally want to get to. There's no need to force anything here. And then maybe take a fold down to the ground. It's up to you how far you'd like to melt into the forward fold. Let's focus on the hips, on the inner thighs. Just letting those hips gently open and relax as you breathe in and out. Unravel the body now, rise on up, slide those knees in and then roll yourself down onto your back. Take the arms wide by your sides and drop the knees over to the left hand side. Left hand could come to the right, left hand could come to the top knee. You're looking over your right shoulder. And just let yourself melt into this twist, our seventh stretch of the day. Twists are so important. They're so great for all the internal organs. They're so great for your spine. And they're a perfect thing to practice first thing in the morning and also last thing before you go to bed. Breathe deeply. Let the body melt. 
and then take the knees over to the right hand side, right hand to the top knee and turn your head looking over your left shoulder now. Let yourself melt into the twist, the whole body sinking and connecting to the ground. Very little effort is needed here. All we need to do is relax and trust that we can truly let go here. Deep breaths in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Roll and release back through center. And just take a moment in Shavasana, either with the legs long or knees bent falling in towards each other. Maybe bringing the hands onto the body to connect to the breath. Taking a deep breath in through the nose, sending the breath all the way down to the base of the belly and back out again. I'm remembering it's always a good idea. It's always so important to take a mindful moment for yourself where all you're doing is connecting to the breath and relaxing. You could stay here in Shavasana for as long as you need. But I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed these seven daily stretches. If you did, make sure to leave me a comment and let me know. And of course, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family. I would absolutely love to have you here. When you're ready, you can slowly come on out of Shavasana, sit tall, reach the arms high, let the hands meet and exhale to your heart space. And I will see you soon for the next one. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye.